Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the journal which are related to engineering and law subject. We will see paid and unpaid as well. Before proceeding, I would like to tell you that this is the playlist in my channel. You can see that SCI Scopus Index Journal here. You can find various Scopus indexed journals which I have already discussed. Okay, most probably this will not be repeated. Like for example, today I am going to tell you a few journals. Okay, so those journals you cannot see in these videos. Okay, that is the previous video. So everything are um, different journals, so you can watch it. I have covered almost every uh, every field like English, civil engineering, um, uh, food technologies, many things. Okay, so management, everything you can check out here, and you can also see an another uh, playlist called All About Research. So here you can find various information about research. So what I have faced, what are the problems which I have faced during my research research, and how I have overcome that. So everything like right from uh, writing the literature review, synopsis, thesis and how to find the data sets, where to find, what are the various plagiarism checking tools you can see, funding opportunities, everything I've been uploading here. So please watch. So let us go and check the first one. Engineering in the sense it's a very generic like all the engineering, especially civil engineering, electrical engineering. Okay, the first journal is what smart materials and structures. So here you can see that this is from 1992 to present. So till now it is there in Scopus. But anyhow, please cross check whenever you are just some you wanted to submit your article. Okay, so the subject area are engineering, civil and structural engineering, mechanical, uh, mechanical of mat uh, sorry mechanics of material, physics and astronomy. Electrical and electronic engineering, computer science. So you can see various uh, things, right? And this is a publisher is Institute of Physics and Publishing. So here you can find the site score and everything here. So once if you click that, it will take you to this. Okay, so this is smart materials and structures. Okay, so smart materials and structure, you can see that uh, we are going to talk about both the thing that is a prepaid and unpaid journals. Okay, so once if you click here, you can see that five days okay they are taking median submission to first decision before peer review whether your paper is under the scope and everything they will check and written uh, written a mail within five days okay and 37 days median submission to the first decision after peer review okay so this is very fast right so, uh, then we have to just check how many uh, issues per year here now it is currently 10th okay that is uh, they are uh, current volume at which is processing is worth 10 which means that i think they are publishing nearly 12 12 issues per year okay so here you can see already it is published and it's a 12 issues per year great let us go and check for the publication charges if you click here publication charges you can see that article publication charges 2930 and if you just uh, uh, check the down like you can see that group b countries they are just asking 60 675 dollars and if you are under group a countries you don't want to pay any fee okay so we just we will check like in which country like group a or group b or group c okay so group a these are all the countries which are okay if you if you belong to any of these country then you don't want it any of these countries then you don't want to pay any amount okay so others based on low income countries are listed in group a will receive a full apc waiver in any iop owned journal so any iop owned journal you can go and see so you don't want to pay okay if you are under this country if you are belong if you are in this countries any of one of these countries then you don't want to pay and if you are under this country this is a lower middle income country okay so you can see that algeria angola and you can find india indonesia kenya so they are uh, lower middle income countries if that is the case then you have to pay uh, this amount that is 675 dollars okay so you have to pay what 675 dollars and uh, uh, 675 dollars is somehow like 53,756 rupees okay and if you belong if you are not belonging to any of these countries then you have to pay uh, this complete charge okay so this is the uh, thing other than that even if you wanted to wave off anything like application for discretionary apc waivers for authors from other countries who are unable to pay an article publication charge 
will be considered okay so you can send the article processing charge wave of um, a letter or a mail to them so that you will get uh, that is you will get the article wave of for this okay so you can try for this because uh, this is a um, this is a journal which is indexed in scopus so and the scope is also it's a wide scope okay like a uh, many journal they are many field they are covering and it is also 12 issues per year so you are um, you will get a fast publishing okay so let us go and check for the next one next scope that this next journal which is called mathematics and mechanics of complex system so they are covering mathematics mathematics civil engineering and structural engineering as well okay so the publisher is what mathematical science publisher so here this is no charge okay mathematical and mechanical of computer complex system so here you can find this is the journal and they are uh, in scopus since 2013 so if you just scroll down you can see that there will be no author side charges you don't want to pay any charge okay the subscription price will be the minimum needed to make the journal financially stable okay so uh, all articles will be free to access five years after publication so article processing making it open access is not the much deal okay here so here you can find some more information about it and you can see that how many issues per year they are just publishing see this is volume one this is the reason issue okay uh for the reason okay let us go and check for the archives if it is there it will be fine for us uh it is a little bit confusing uh, for me see here this is the reason issue okay issue one fine and volume 9 issue 4 i think uh, one volume they are issuing four issues let us see about the journal let us see any issues are there okay so any archives is there a submission guide number policies to ethics okay author index to appear out okay so they, they haven't mentioned anything related to um anything related to uh, the archives and anything this is a submission page you have to submit it in the page I think four issues per year. Let us just click on the volume nine. Okay, volume nine is what dated twenty twenty one. Great. Okay, so four issues per year. Volume nine is twenty twenty one, and if you click on volume eight, you can find that this is twenty twenty. Okay, four issues per year. They are just releasing. Uh, they are releasing, and this is a free of charge. So you can uh, download the. Uh, download the template you can just go and uh, check the submission guidelines where you can find the template and you can submit the article okay so here they are just covering all these scope so let us go to the next scope that is theoretical criminology so this is related to law so there is social science law sociology and political science pathology and forensic medicine so this is since 1997 this journal is in scopus okay if you click here you can find that this is a search publisher publisher and uh, let us just go and see the um, price of this if you click on the submission guidelines you can find the uh, price that is that is there are no fees payable to submit or publish in this journal great so we have to check for the number of issues per year so they are i think four issues okay they are releasing nearly four issues per year okay here you have four issues so apart from this if you wanted to know more about like what is the what is the normal uh, submission to the publication you can just go and check for the journal description you can also check for the aim and scope and everything okay most probably if they are not covering anything in the uh, description like uh, what is the mean time they will take usually they will take to uh, between the submission and publication you can simply mail them okay you can mail and see sometimes it will be there in the submission guidelines okay sometimes it will be there in the author uh, information so here you can see writing editorial policy publishing policies uh, okay preparing your manuscript submitting okay permission on acceptance of the sage so here you can see how many days it may take if definitely most of the journal they will first check for uh, the scope okay if your article is not under their scope if they will reply you within one week or 10 days okay if it is under your scope they will just process it they will send it to the reviewer and they will get back to you if then if nothing is given in the journal page then if you if you are very curious to know about that you can just send a mail to them and know 
what is the basic uh, so the next one is journal of european social policy so this is also the sage publisher so they are covering general social science and policy and law so this is that if you go and check for the all issues you can find that how many issues they are releasing per year so if you click 2021 you can see that okay five issues great and let us also check for the submission guidelines so you can see that there are no fees payable to submit or publish in this journal great so other than that you can see uh, the other inf important information like writing your paper you can see what are the templates you wanted okay and uh, what is the funding policy uh, what are the uh, what are the plagiarism policy and everything of course in the sage i didn't find anything like how many uh, uh, time they will take like uh, if you have a frequently asked question page you can find it there okay like uh, is there user okay uh, off campus okay where can i learn okay they haven't uh, they haven't mentioned about anything like how many what is the frequency or um, how many days okay processing time they haven't asked anything about it if you can just go and check here like uh, okay uh, status how can i check how i make the i how i find the appropriate journal so everything you can find it here okay so the next one is the criminology and criminal justice this is there in the scopus since 2006 okay and they cover law and you can just go and check here this is the criminology and i hope since it's a sage sometimes they will just go with the free there is there are no fees payable to submit or publish in this journal great and you can click for the all issues to check whether what is the um what is the price of this like sorry what is the issue how many issues they are going with five issues great so uh, the next one is what we are going to talk about the international journal of electronic security and digital forensics so here they are also covering social science law engineering safety risk and reliability computer science as well networks and communication and this is by indescience publisher sometimes indescience will take long longer time to respond you back but anyhow this is a trusted okay the trusted um, publisher so if you have enough time you can just try it off so this is six issues per year you can see that uh, what is how many volumes they are publishing so this is what we already saw that this is six issues per year we go to the uh, submitting the articles you can see that there are no charges for publishing with indesign so you don't want to pay and, and other than that you wanted to go with the open access okay so i hope you uh, find this video useful so in every video i'm just discussing about a new journal okay i'm exploring the journal and i'm discussing it so please uh, anyhow before you submit your article please cross check it with the scopus and also you don't want to pay any fees unless and until your article is accepted okay if it is a paid journal so i hope you found this video useful take care stay safe bye bye